right, guys. Today we're gonna make a broccoli gouda cheese frittata sort of tortilla española. Chop that up. Ends off. Skin off. Let's get our pan to like uh, three hundred. Okay. And now the onions. Alright, pan is pretty close to 300. We're going to come in with a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Boom, boom, boom. That's smoking hot. Get these up. We want to kind of steam these first. All right, guys, let's get our broccoli, just the stems of our broccoli, okay? So we'll go in half this way first, and then same deal, just kind of get these chunks out. Right to the floret. It's looking pretty good. Broccoli stems in, all of them. Nice, healthy pinch of salt. Mix. Oops, oopsie daisy. Say that's about three ounces or so. We've dropped to about 255 here. I'm thinking that that's a better temperature for the eggs because, you know, when the Spanish really do it right, they've got almost no browning on the egg. And um, that's where we want to be. All right. Getting nice color on the onions here. Really cooking them down, letting them caramelize. And I'm not gonna lie, that was some of the worst. So for the broccoli, I kinda like to let it sort of be encapsulated in the egg and cook that way just for the florets. Got some purple cauliflower here. It was looking beautiful, so I bought it. Guys, that's looking pretty veggie heavy. I'm gonna save this for a saute. So let's just uh, hit a little bit of this guy right here. Let's just get some of this. Mucho importante que pulite limanes dopo usate peperoncini caliente. All right, here's the really big trick. You ready for it? You take the cooked onions and broccoli and you put it right into the raw egg. Then you beat this up. And it sort of tempers the egg a little bit. This is very veggie heavy. I'm into it. So we'll take a little more oil. It's probably a tablespoon or so. Get that around. And now, go right in. Make sure 
get it all. And now, you spread it out and even mix at the bottom a little bit. Flatten. And you're gonna give this about five minutes or so. In the meantime, you can clean up because guess what? You have dishes to do. Okay, so at this point, start coming around the edges and just see what's up. You can see it's not really holding together still. So you gotta keep going. There's a lot of egg here. I'm gonna keep cooking it though. Keep going. And just try and loosen the bottom by reaching underneath. All right guys, so check it out. This is coming all the way around. It's feeling pretty good. Now I'm in a new apartment here, so unfortunately, this is the biggest plate I have. I don't have a lid, I have no other options. So this is gonna be a little bit rough here. Guys, and it's okay if this isn't beautiful because you have the whole other side to get it right. Ugh. So if this happens, you just kinda, you know, you gotta get it off. Clean the pan. Don't freak out, people. It's enameled cast iron. It's okay. All right. Oil. Mix it around. Boom. Here we go. Egg back in. Now, this isn't the most beautiful one I've ever made, but we're gonna have an opportunity to fix it by getting the bottom side right now and flipping it over again. Now, why wasn't this perfect? Honestly, we had the temperature too low. Really simple. 300's where we're gonna wanna be aiming. I think, we'll find out. This is your opportunity to really get that beautiful Spanish style round plump edge. And you just go around and do this. Guys, we got a clean plate here because that one had raw egg. Let's give this some love. Here we go. Mm. Boom, look at that. Just gonna throw this back in. Just get the bottom side a little bit better. Boom, round the edges just a tiny bit more. All right, that's it. Can you guess which side the serving side is? It's the second side. Oh, baby. I'm gonna let this cool, guys, but would you look at that? I mean, nice and plump, gorgeous, full of veggies, nice color. How can you go wrong? All right, guys, so there it is. It's, uh, it's pretty beautiful, and I'm gonna cut into it now. That's what's happening next. Boom. Let's see what we got here. Nice cross section. See a little cheese right there. Good color all around. Nice and fat. It's gonna be delicious. Serve it with some mayo. Garlic aioli if you want.